In this video, I will compare Framer versus Webflow and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. Now, they are both extremely similar, but they have some tiny differences, which is what I'll go over in this video. Now, both of them will allow you to create very, very advanced and good looking websites with a huge amount of customizability. Now, if you look at Framer's features, you can see, of course, you can design, you have navigation, animations, you can publish it. So you have your management, forms and SEO, and you can scale through localization, CMS and have AI. Now, Webflow is very similar. Under its platform, you can see what it does. So it helps you build through design, edit mode, interactions and page building. Then it helps you manage with CMS, hosting localization and security, then optimize through analyzing, optimizing and SEO. And then it has some apps that it connects with, such as HubSpot. Now you can also turn your Figma designs into Webflow. Now in terms of their pricing plan, it depends on whether you want to create a general website or e-commerce with Webflow. For example, if you want to create an e-commerce website, then Webflow's pricing ranges from $42 per month up to $235 per month. And you can see the cheapest plan does have a 2% transaction fee. And now for general sites, they have a free plan available, but you don't have a custom domain and only two pages. And that's just for kind of trying it out in my opinion. But the business plan is only $49 per month, which isn't that much in my opinion for what you're getting. Then they also have a custom enterprise plan and they have workspace plans. And when you compare this to the pricing on Framer, you can see their pricing is a little bit more straightforward. They have a free plan also with no custom domain for hobby sites. Then mini costs 10 euros per site per month and it goes up to the pro plan, which is 40 euros per site per month. And then they also have a custom enterprise plan. Now, if you scroll down a bit, you can also see the workspace plans where you can collaborate with your team members. You will also see how much hosting you get in each of these plans, so how many visitors and bandwidth. So if pricing is the most important factor for you, the Framer may be slightly less expensive than Webflow, but it won't make a huge difference. And personally, I wouldn't make my decision based on that since it isn't really a big factor. But ultimately, they are very similar and you cannot go wrong with either option. But if you're not sure which one is actually best for you and you do want to have some pointers on which one you should pick, here's what I would do. I would choose Framer if you are looking for an easy to use platform, at least easier, because there is still a bit of a learning curve if you're a beginner, with stunning design outputs. With Framer's impressive templates, animations and pre-built components, you can create designs that are almost indistinguishable from high-end tech and SaaS websites. And you will have the option to scale up as your business grows. Now, Framer is used by some really large businesses such as Perplexity and SpaceX. Now, I would choose Webflow on the other hand if you are creating custom designs for larger sites. Webflow offers pixel-perfect design control, enterprise-grade scaling features, a robust CMS, and over 150 integrations. So if you want to create a highly custom e-commerce shop design, it is a solid Shopify alternative. Webflow is also a good choice if you'd like the option to export your website code and self-host. So for e-commerce, I would probably go with Webflow, and if you're looking for an easier to use option at a slightly lower price and you want to create an informational website or SaaS, then I would go with Framer. So that concludes this comparison of Framer versus Webflow. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.